it's Shalice from Remember When, and I'm here with a Rock Princess tutorial. I got one of my, well, actually I got all of my new cartridges. I'm really excited, and I decided to go ahead and start doing a series with the Rock Princess cartridge. So, we're going to make this card. It's a circle card, um, and this is a five inch circle card using the rosebud on page 49. Okay, so I cut out the regular layer, the shift, the two um, layers on the uh, layer one, and the two layers on layer two. So let's go ahead and get that all put together. So I'm starting off with the regular cut. And first, I'm going to take my dark green layer, which is the regular cut on layer two and we're going to go ahead and attach that. And I'm going to use the Scotch uh, quick dry adhesive to attach all of these pieces. Okay, so now that we have that assembled, we're going to go ahead and attach the light green pieces. All right, so we have our leaves together. Now we're gonna go ahead and start attaching uh, the rosebud pieces. Okay, so we have our rows all put together. Now I'm gonna put a piece of clear bling right in the center. All right, so we have our rows all put together here. Now, for the card, I'm taking our um, Studio G circle cards and envelopes. These are a dollar at Michael's and they're awesome because you can alter them to um, become any kind of card you want. Okay, so we have our envelope and our card here. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut out the liner for the card. And it's going to be five inches. And I'm going to use my Martha Stewart circle cutter. All right, it looks like I have a little overcut here again, but I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that off. All right, so our circle is gonna fit right on here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach it. All right, so we have the front of our card here, and there's a little overhang here, but that's fine because when the card opens, it will accommodate for that, okay? 
Okay, so now we're going to make our outside layer, and I'm using this pattern paper from a collection at Joann's. I'm not sure the name of it, uh, but it was a baby collection. And this is going to be cut in a four and three quarter circle. So let's see, we have four and three quarters right here. We're going to put our cutter in right there, hold everything firmly, and cut out the circle. It looks like that cut really well. So we're going to go ahead and layer that onto our card base. We do want to make sure that the top of the card um, is at the top so we can layer this vertically. So we have it right about there. We are then going to take our flower, our uh, rosebud here, and we're going to line the card up. With the envelope and then line our rosebud up just to make sure it's all going to fit in the envelope. So it's going to look something like that. And then we want to go ahead and adhere it down. Okay, so our card should look something like this. The last steps we want to take, on this one I made the faux stitching, but I'm not going to do it on um, the card we're making right now. So the last thing we want to do is make the inside layers of the card. Okay, so we're going to take a piece of red cardstock and cut out a circle that is four and a quarter. And then we want to have our white layer, which we're going to write at, at four inches. Okay, so those are our two circles. We're going to go ahead and layer those on top of one another. And then place that on the inside of our card. All right, so we have our rosebud circle card. This can be used for any occasion whatsoever. It's really simple to uh, make and send off. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, stay creative.